Welcome to the Journey of Sperm, a fascinating voyage that begins inside the male body and leads to the miracle of life. Hit subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you won't miss the next video. Inside the testes, millions of sperm cells are produced every day, preparing for their journey. Within the epididymis, sperm mature and gain the ability to swim, preparing for ejaculation. During ejaculation, sperm travel through the vas deferens and mix with seminal fluids, forming semen ready for release. After ejaculation, millions of sperm enter the vagina, beginning their challenging journey toward the egg. Only a fraction of sperm survive the cervical mucus, navigating its channels on their way to the uterus. After surviving the cervix, sperm enter the uterus, dispersing and racing toward the fallopian tubes. Only a few sperm reach the fallopian tubes, where the chance of meeting an egg finally begins. At the ampulla of the fallopian tube, sperm finally meet the egg, but only one will succeed in fertilization. One sperm breaks through and fuses with the egg, a single union that begins the journey of a new human life. The two sets of genetic material combine, forming the very first cell of a new organism, the zygote. The zygote begins to divide, a process called cleavage, producing two identical cells that will continue to multiply. The rapidly dividing cells form a marula, a compact cluster preparing for the next stage of development. The blastocyst reaches the uterus, a crucial step before it can implant into the nourishing uterine lining. The blastocyst implants into the uterine lining, establishing the vital connection for early development. Supporting structures like the placenta and amniotic sac form early on, sustaining and protecting the growing embryo. Within weeks, the embryo's tiny heart begins to beat, marking one of the earliest milestones of life. Basic body structures begin to form as the embryo organizes into distinct regions that will become vital organs and tissues. Tiny limb buds appear on the embryo, marking the earliest stage of arm and leg formation. Early facial features begin to form, setting the foundation for the eyes, nose, and mouth. Vital internal organs begin to form and take their positions, preparing the body for future growth. The fetus begins its first small movements as limbs and muscles grow stronger each day. Eyes, ears, and nose begin to form, preparing the fetus to sense the world after birth. The nervous system rapidly connects, enabling reflexes and movements inside the womb. Muscles and bones develop rapidly, allowing the fetus to practice early movements inside the womb. The nervous system develops rapidly, laying the foundation for sensory responses and basic reflexes. Though the fetus doesn't breathe air yet, the lungs are developing, preparing for the first breath after birth. The digestive system develops gradually, enabling the fetus to process amniotic fluid and prepare for nutrition after birth. The urinary system develops early, allowing the fetus to excrete urine and maintain fluid balance in the womb. The circulatory system develops early, ensuring blood flows efficiently to nourish the growing fetus. The immune system begins forming early, producing cells that will protect the baby from infections after birth. Sensory organs develop early, preparing the fetus to see, hear, and respond to the world after birth. The skin and hair develop gradually, providing protection and sensory functions for the newborn. Muscles strengthen as the fetus moves, practicing coordination and preparing for life outside the womb. The skeleton hardens as bones strengthen, supporting the growing fetus and preparing for movement after birth. The heart and circulatory system grow stronger, ensuring efficient blood flow to nourish all developing organs. The lungs mature, producing surfactant and practicing gentle movements, 
preparing the baby for its first breath. In the final weeks, the fetus gains weight and accumulates fat, preparing the body for temperature regulation and life outside the womb. As birth approaches, the fetus positions head down, completing final preparations for delivery. Labor begins as uterine contractions strengthen and the cervix gradually opens, preparing the baby for delivery. The fetus descends through the birth canal, guided by uterine contractions and maternal effort toward delivery. Crowning occurs as the baby's head emerges, marking the final stage of labor before complete delivery. With delivery complete, the baby takes its first breath, initiating independent circulation and respiration outside the womb. The umbilical cord is clamped and cut, and the baby begins independent circulation and respiration, ready for life outside the womb. The baby exhibits initial reflexes and lets out its first cry, signaling active respiration and healthy neurological response. Skin-to-skin -skin contact fosters bonding, stabilizes the baby's heart rate, and supports early breastfeeding. The first feeding provides essential nutrients and antibodies, supporting the newborn's growth and immune system. And healthcare professionals monitor vital signs and reflexes to ensure the newborn's health and adaptation to life outside the womb. In the first days, the baby begins early movements and reflexes, laying the foundation for motor and sensory development. During sleep, the newborn's brain develops rapidly, forming connections that support learning, memory, and sensory processing. The newborn begins exploring the world through sight, sound, and touch developing early sensory awareness. Early reflexes and spontaneous movements help the newborn develop motor skills and respond to environmental stimuli. The newborn's digestive system adapts to feeding, coordinating sucking, swallowing, and nutrient absorption. The newborn's immune system strengthens through early exposure and antibodies, protecting against infections and supporting healthy development. Newborns begin developing sensory awareness and cognitive skills, exploring their environment through sight, sound, and touch. Newborns show early social and emotional responses, forming bonds and recognizing familiar voices and faces. The newborn gains weight and develops physically, with stronger muscles and increased fat layers supporting overall growth. In the first weeks of life, the newborn grows physically, develops reflexes, begins sensory and cognitive learning,